Come on and celebrate. I will lift up my eyes into the hills from whence cometh my help. Look up. Harmony Missionary Baptist Church, Los Angeles, California, a historical landmark celebrating 80 years of global ministry. The service is in progress. Dr. Harold T. Johnson, Sr., pastor. My hallelujah belongs to you. 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 All of the glory belongs to you. Oh, yeah. All of the glory belongs to you. All of the glory belongs to you. All of the glory belongs to you. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. You deserve it. My hallelujah belongs to you. glory belong to you oh yeah all of the glory belongs to you
24, starting with verse 4 on this communion Sunday, amen. Luke 24 and 4. I want to read a couple of verses, amen. And it came to pass, as they were much perplexed, thereabout, behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. And as they were afraid and bowed down their faces to the earth, they said unto them, Why seek ye the living among the dead? He is not here, huh? but he is risen. Remember how he spake unto you when he was yet in Galilee. When you saw a subject, amen, God is faithful. Somebody say, God is faithful. Amen. If you sit next to somebody, tell them, don't forget what he told you. <laughs> don't forget what God. <laughs> God is faithful. Can I get a witness? How many of you know that God is faithful? Anybody know him? Do you remember the desires and dreams that God has put in your heart and God's Holy Spirit has spoken to us and is showing us how we are going to accomplish those visions? Anybody got any visions and dreams that the Lord has placed in your heart? Hey, can I get a witness? And how we see our challenges uh, turn into victories. How we beat the addiction. How God has sent the right people in our lives. And how we beat the odds. We didn't become another statistic. Can I get a witness? At one time, we, we were confident. We, we knew that uh, it, it would happen. We were praying and believing passionately. Huh? It was going to happen. The Lord was, was going to do it. But for some of us, as time went by, it took longer than we anticipated. We went through disappointments, and the people we depended on didn't come through for us. Well, the medical report didn't come up good. Negative thoughts began to play louder and louder in our heads. And now we're thinking it's never going to work out. Now we're thinking we're never going to get well. Now we're thinking we're never going to get that job. Now we're thinking huh? we'll never see our family back together again. Too often we let the noise of negativity drown out the Holy Spirit speaking to us. Can I, can I get a witness? And if we're going to stay in faith, we've got to remember what God has said. Remember what God has promised. Go back to the promises. Go back to the time when the Holy Spirit spoke to you in those quiet hours. You know, sometimes the Lord speaks to me, and I, and I, I can't put my hands on it, but it's, but it's sometimes between midnight and twilight, amen. <laughs> I can't put my hands on what, what time, yeah, amen. But when the Lord speaks, can I get a witness? Go back to the promises. By, by the time when the, Lord, about the, when the Lord spoke to you in those hours, start thanking God for what he told you. You, you need to start declaring what God has promised you. Can I move? Huh? Come on. Declare favor. Declare it. Amen. Declare victory. Declare healing. You've got to keep your faith. Stir it up. Stir up your gift. Can I get over here? You've got to remember those promises and keep them on the forefront of your mind. Can, can, I, can I get a witness? I talked to the woman Sister Johnson and I was talking, amen, I'm, I'm, going, I'm going to start attending uh, MIT. I'm going back to college, amen. I'm going to, amen, to learn how to, to edit movies. I want to do something new. Can I get a witness? Oh, oh, oh. What? Hello, yeah, amen. Amen. And God has put it there, amen. And I'm going to do it. Can I get a witness? If God puts something on your heart, do it. Can I get a witness? God is faithful. The Lord doesn't tell us something and the Holy Spirit falls. Shut God is faithful. Amen. 
Old Testament and New Testament, the scripture says God promised. Huh? And when God promises you something, you can say amen. amen. If God said it, then you can depend on it. It may not happen on our timetable or the way we think it should happen, but what God promises is on the way. He may not come when you want him, but he's always on time. He's an on-time God. Oh, yes, he is. It's easy to believe when things are going away, you know, but most of the time the promises don't come to pass without a test. Hmm? If you sit next to one, anybody tell them the promises don't come without a test. You know, you can whisper, hey, man, did you, you didn't know that, did you? When you are under pressure and you don't understand why it's taking so long, why those people didn't keep their word, huh? you'll be tempted, amen, to be frustrated. Huh? Don't live in the state of worry. Can I get a witness? Don't live in the fear because it's, uh, because uh, you are being tested. Well, Can I get a witness? The enemy would love for you to forget what God has promised. The enemy would love for you to be caught up in what's happening around you. Can I get a witness? We've got to remember that we still got so much more to come. Yeah. Can I get a witness? The economy, let me say this, is not our source. God is your source. Yeah. We are connected to supply line that will never run dry. Yeah. Remember in John 4. At Jacob's well, Jesus told the Samaritan woman, whosoever drinketh of this water, well, what? Shall thirst again. But whosoever drinketh of the water that I shall give him shall never thirst. Can I get a witness? But the water that I shall give him shall be what? In him. A well of water, huh? Springing up into everlasting life. Can I get a witness here? This economy is not our source. God is your source. And we are connected to a supply line that will never run dry. Amen. Believe it or not, amen, God is faithful. There's always something. You know, there's always somebody trying to steal your joy. There's always somebody trying to steal the seed of, of God's love right out of your heart. Lord has put something in your heart, amen, and you've got some naysayers always ready to kick you down. You can't do that. You ain't got enough money. You can't do that. You're too old. You can't do, well, no, don't let naysayers block what God has put in your heart. Can I get a witness? But if you keep, huh, huh, if we keep the seed watered, Huh? That, that you, you keep thinking God and remember what he promised. Huh? You keep on talking like it's on his way. Huh? And you constantly meditate on what God has promised. Then you are going to see the faithfulness of God. Because God is faithful. Can I get a witness here? John said in John 11, did, did, did not I tell you if you believe you would see God, huh? the glory of God? Didn't I tell you? If you believe that you will see the glory of God, right. listen, you may, you may be facing sickness. You, you're worried and you're stressed out and God is saying, did I not tell you that I can restore your health? Did I not tell you that I put the, the, the M in medicine? Did, did, did I not tell you that by my stripes that you are healed? Did I not tell you that the number of days, amen, are fulfilled? Remember what God promised. God is faithful, and the reason why, and, and the reason we are discouraged many times is because we've forgotten what God has promised. Hmm, it's not complicated. Go back to God's promises, go back to what God whispered to you huh, in that moment, in those quiet moments, amen. Remember what God spoke over you, amen. And something happens when you dwell on the promise. Something happens, amen. When you, huh, when you stop worrying, amen. Something happens, amen. When you stop doubting, some, something happens, amen. When you start remembering what the Lord has promised you. Thank him for making a way even when you don't see the way. Can I get a witness? I've, I've, I've I've heard so many testimonies, amen. I, I, I just uh, ringing out of my head, amen. I'm 
I remember hearing one testimony from one family who lived in the country, amen. Didn't have any food. Can I get a witness? But they set the table like they had a food. This was a testimony of a, of, of a deacon, of a preacher, amen. And he said that somebody knocked on the door. We, we don't do that in the, you know, that, that's in the country. Any, anybody knock on the door, amen. Well, you know, we do have a neighbor. Who, what, what's, did Liz? That's, that's mother's partner, amen. Liz, well, she will ask for a cup of sugar, amen. Hey, can, can I get one? We don't have that no more. Amen. <laughs> when the last time somebody knocked on your door yeah. and said, let me borrow a cup of flour. Can, can I get a witness? That used to happen, amen. And, <laughs> but it doesn't happen anymore. But this, but, but this preacher said that the family, amen, was down to like a piece of bread. But they sat down like they were at a banquet. Yeah. Yeah. Can I get a witness? Okay. And then a knock on the door and somebody said, listen, we, we just killed a hog. Okay. Okay, okay, y'all, 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 yeah, yeah. I know how it is, amen. We don't have that problem anymore. Can, can, I, can I get a witness? How many times have you ordered a pizza? Oh, come on. We don't have that problem. We got so many. God has given us so much. We take God for granted. God is faithful. Thank him, amen. We go to all, oh, come on, and thank him for, for for, for turning our trials into triumph. Thank God for turning your challenges into possibilities. We all go through losses and setbacks and we feel sometimes that it is unfair. I got that. It hurts. Lord, why did this happen to me? I don't understand it. We are perplexed. What did I read? But first, what? You do, what we said when we first read, we see the word perplexed. It's right there in verse 4. The women were perplexed. Because they couldn't figure out what was going on. Look what we just read. But if we, if we back up, if we back up to chapter 23, that the women had seen Jesus laid rest on Friday evening. We know, we, we know what happened on Friday. And so when they, when they arrived on Sunday morning, they, they couldn't figure out what, 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 what was happening there. Huh? But the angels made it clear to them that they, huh, that they should remember what God said because God is faithful. Huh? Even though it was still dark outside according to John 20 and 1, they should have been able, uh, uh, shouldn't have even been out in the dark. But why? Because as verse 6 and 7 made it clear, Jesus already told them what was going to happen. Yeah. I think if we are honest, we can relate to these ladies because God's word tells us that Christ is risen. But we often go through our day facing challenges on the outside and the inside, but facing them would perplex. We are perplexed even when we don't need to be perplexed. Like the women uh, of, of our text, our confusion comes from the fact that we did not remember what God told us. Can I get them? God said in his word because what? But we have what? Been distracted by the things of this world. Can I get a witness? Brothers and sisters, remember God's word. Remember the answers. Remember the promise. But the power of the hope that is in our, uh, uh, is for us because we serve a risen Savior. Somebody say a risen Savior. Risen Savior. Huh? Uh, and, here's, and here's what we know. Life is a fallen world. Uh, has a way of distracting us from the Father who's reassuring us. Distraction. Anybody have any, nobody has uh, distractions? I've, I've, heard, I've heard members said, uh, on your way, you on your way out the door and somebody call you. On your way to church, yeah. somebody calls you. Can, can I get a witness? Yeah. Distraction. Come, come, you, 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 you get up in the morning and you're so anxious to come to church. Amen. And, 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 and then you hit your toe. Okay, that never happened to you. <laughs> and you know what you said. You, just, you said more than ouch. I'm, t I'm talking about distractions. The devil. <laughs> okay, amen. Huh? Here, here's what we know. Life is a fallen world has a way of trying to distract us from the Father's reassurance. Our enemy wants to convince us that things are not going to happen for us right now. But we also know that Jesus huh, 
was raised and is alive. We serve a risen Savior. Huh? Remember what Jesus said. The Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of the sinful man and be crucified and on the third day rise again. But verse 8, the verse 8, look at verse 8. Verse 8 said, and they remembered his words. You, you know, our, our lesson, amen, this, this, this past on recharge is, it was about the prodigal son. The prodigal son, he remembered. <laughs> he came to himself. He, he, he remembered. Can, can, can I get a witness? Yeah, come, come on. And, and, and my father's, guess it is. Huh? God, the, the, the service is even better. Can I, can I, can, we've had that moment. Can I get a witness? When we know we were wrong. Know that we were all going in the wrong direction, but we remembered. Oh, <laughs> verse, look, look, and look at verse 9. When they returned from the sepulcher, amen, and told all things unto the eleven and to the, all the rest, they didn't stop with just telling the eleven the disciples. The, the, they, they told everybody. We have no reason to be perplexed because, huh? Because in light of what he predicted and fulfilled, amen, we can personally know. Uh, our risen Savior Jesus and his power, there's power in the resurrection. What? Because we can walk in a new life. Because of the resurrection. We have a reason to, uh, we, uh, to, to be uh, happy, amen, and, and live a joyful life. We, and we have no reason to be perplexed anymore. Can I remember what God has promised. Remember that the risen Savior has given people power to overcome the enemy to overcome hatred to overcome racism to overcome stupidity huh huh will not defeat god's people can i get a witness and because of what christ did what we can walk in a new life huh? not a life of just yesterday we can walk in a newness of a redeemed life today hmm Huh? If anybody asks you who I am, tell them I am redeemed. And did you know that Christian people are not perfect? Did I tell you something that you didn't know? Huh? Yeah. We, we, we are not exempt from trials of life. The world is watching how God's people handle their problems. Y'all need, you, you, need you need to know that, amen. The world is watching. How you handle your problems, huh? Uh, and sometimes uh, we, we, distractions come and we, we just downright get ugly. Amen. Come on. I, I, was, I, was, I was sitting, I didn't make a turn because I, I, I didn't want to just run through that. Amen. And ever since that, that bad accident, I've been conscious of, you know how we do when the, when the light turns yellow, you know, sometimes we hit that gas to, you know, get on. You know, but since that, that, that terrible accident happened, I don't do that. Yeah. You know, when I see that yellow, I start slowing down. But the people behind me, they start blowing. Yeah. They don't want to slow down. Yeah. Can I get a witness? I don't care. Amen. I'm too old for that. Amen. When I was younger, hey, no, no, I ain't, no, I ain't trying to do that. And, 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 and I stopped the other day. And the man behind me in a, in a SUV, he, he honked on his horn. You know, and he was just, you know, and you could just tell that he was, his horn was cursing me out. He was, you know, and he was, you know, and I, I, I and, and, and I looked in the, my, looked in my, you know, rear window, amen. I had no problems as long as he didn't get out the car. Okay. <laughs> can, can, can I, you, and I know you've been in that situation. Can I get, but, <laughs> amen. But we are not exempt, amen, from the trials of life. And the world is watching how the people of God handle problems and how we handle just right ugliness. Can I get a witness? We are in the spotlight. Amen. Family? Huh? Yeah, I, 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 was, I was watching on the TV show. I'm going you know, to get ready for communion. Amen. I was watching on the, on the TV show two amazing people on the trapeze. Y'all remember that? Swinging and twirling through the air and making a connection by grasping uh, uh, each other's risk, amen. And the show was 
was breathtaking. Uh -huh. The audience would, would just gasp at, at every time that they would nearly miss. And finally, they did miss. And the screams from the audience ended with a big sigh because there was below them a net to catch them. You feeling me? And when they fell, they jumped up and bounced back and climbed up the ladder and grabbed a hold to the trapeze and started whirling and twirling again. Can I get a witness? You see, when we live in Christ, the world is watching us. Just like those people I was watching on the trapeze, the world is watching our whirling and our twirling. Can I get a witness? And, 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 and they are watching how we live and, and how we love and how we treat one another. Yes. But what happens when we slip? Has anybody ever slipped? Yes. Come, come on now. Yes. Come on, you. Some of you slip right in the parking lot. I heard somebody tell me, you're going to make me lay down my religion. Right in the parking lot. I heard you say it. Huh? <laughs> Huh? Have you ever slipped? Remember, the blood of Jesus has provided a safety net that will catch us when we fall. A safety net of forgiveness for all of our transgressions. Well, the blood of Jesus has provided a net that will break our fall of destruction and defeat. Can I get a witness? And we can go back and we can get up and we can start all over again. Oh, what I always tell you, God specializes in second chances. Can, can God specialize? Can remember what God promised? God is faithful. God is faithful. Well, we serve a risen Savior. The blood of Jesus that he shed for me. Way back on Calvary. Will never, ever lose its power. Can I get a witness? It was one Friday on Calvary's mountain. Can I get a witness? They put nails in his hands and nails in his feet. Can I get a witness? And finally he put his head down and the Savior died. But that's not how the story ends. Can I get a witness? Three days later he got up again with all power all power, all power in his hands. But that's not how the story ends. He's coming back again. He's coming back again. If I were you, I'd get my house in order. Are you ready to receive Jesus? Do you know him? Have you tried him? Is there anybody here? No, my Lord. Is there anybody here? Tried my Jesus. Is there anybody? Is there anybody? Oh! Do you know him? Do you know Jesus? The doors of the church are open, amen. God is faithful. Will there be one, amen? As I look around, amen. Thou art calling. Do not pass me by. Pass me not. Pass me not. Oh, gentle say. Will there be one? The doors of the church are open, amen. And I extend to you the invitation not for membership, but for discipleship. A relationship with the Lord, amen with the body of Christ. Will there be one? I'm calling Savior. Savior. Hear my 
my humble cry Why oh lovers thou art called calling do not Maybe someone is in special need of special prayer, amen. How many are praying on a situation? And I mean, you, you've been putting some overtime prayer on a situation. Get it in your mind right now. Get it in your mind. What have you been dealing with? Father God, in the name of Jesus, you already know. You already know what we're going through. You already know what we're dealing with sickness and heartaches and setbacks and disappointments. You already know, Lord, distractions that we just about preached about. Amen. You already know what we're going through, Lord. Touch right now. In the name of Jesus, we need favor. We need healing. We need you right now. Somebody needs to be revived and renewed and restored right now in the name of Jesus. Look into our hearts. Restore our minds. Strengthen our faith in Jesus' name. And Lord, by our faith, Lord, we claim it. We claim victory. We claim victory by our faith, Lord. According to our faith, Lord, we believe that you're working right now. And it's already done. Amen. Somebody say amen. 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 Have a blessed day. Father God, we thank you now. We thank you for your Holy Spirit. We thank you for your word. Now, Lord, as we leave this place, go with us and guide us. Protect us. Put your arm of protection all around us, Lord. Strengthen our faith. Right now in the name of Jesus. God the Father, God the Son, God the, God the Holy Spirit. Rest rule in the Bible with us now and forevermore. God has spoken, and let the church say, amen. God bless. Let the church.